Horizon Forbidden West is a fantastic game, one that I never got around to reviewing because, well, I actually don't know, reviews have never been my forte. I prefer searching for secrets in games, which we now know to be the case, and as it turns out, between killing robot dinosaurs and robot meerkats, and collecting literally 300 pet rocks, there are indeed secrets to be found within the Horizon Forbidden West world. So in today's video we're going to be checking out 10 Horizon Forbidden West secrets that many players missed. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you missed them, and I'm sure there are many players who didn't miss them. However, there will be plenty out there who don't know of their existence. So if you happen to know a lot of these, please don't take it personally, I'm not trying to insult your intelligence, I just love talking about secrets in games no matter how relevant that may be. So with all of that said, let's begin. The first secret takes us to a Sunwing site towards the western side of the map's mainland. The first three secrets are connected and they're also relatively well known so we'll get them out of the way first. As we head up this path up the mountain, we will come across an axe. This axe is cold. Who left it here? I should check for a trail with my focus. Inspecting the axe will prompt Aloy to pick up a trail that will lead her to a cabin. At this cabin, you will find a totem. The Totem of War. A carved figure. Looks like some kind of war god. This totem depicts Kratos, the main protagonist of God of War. As for the cabin where you can find it, it bears striking similarities to Kratos' cabin from Santa Monica Studios' 2018 release. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Secret number two is the next God of War totem that can be located on the Isles further west at this spot on the map. It's here where you will find a dilapidated ancient school bus and atop a bridge that goes over it is the Totem of Youth. Aloy will remark that it looks like a boy in reference to, well, boy, 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 boy. I would use the audio, however, Aloy's voice is overpowered by battle music as I'm attacked by this giant bird. But of course, the Totem of Youth depicts Kratos' son, Atreus. The third and final location for the God of War totems takes us to this spot on the map, to a tiny island. It's here where we will find a hammer buried in a dead machine. I bet one hit from this hammer would be loud as thunder. Whoever forged it must be a skilled blacksmith. I should look for a trail with my focus. If you follow the trail, it will lead you to two more totems, and if you get detected by the machines on the island, ten more problems. Kind of looks like part of a cauldron. Maybe a remnant of some kind of... Oh no, it's here where you will find the Totems of Brotherhood. Carved figures. One looks tough, the other... kind of fussy. Maybe they're brothers. These totems depict the brothers Brock and Sindri from 2018 God of War, of course. The only word fit to describe secret number four is touching. It can be found at this spot on the map and is a memorial to Patrick Munich. Patrick Munich was a lead producer who worked at Guerrilla Games for eight years before he passed away in June of 2019. And this island pays tribute to him and shows just how much he meant to the team at Guerrilla Games. Someone painted those markings with great care. I think this is a memorial. Must be for a beloved friend. Someone left a note. Here we remember our friend, with a view as calming as his voice, on stone as strong as his spirit. He was not just our rock, he was our oak, sturdy and stoic whose presence brought us comfort, and whose branches touched us all. Rest in peace. It sounds like he's truly missed. This is an incredibly moving sentiment for one described by those who worked with him as a reassuring presence with great humour and above all else, 
a great friend of all who worked at Guerrilla Games. He was also an important member of the development team for Horizon Zero Dawn, so thank you, Patrick Munich. Secret number five brings us to this spot on the map to a location slightly southeast of River Him. It's at this location where you can find the iconic easter egg of a sword in the stone, likely in reference to Arthurian legend. A sword? And a stone? Huh. Reminds me of a story I read at an ancient data point. Over the years in Arthurian legend, the sword in the stone, and what's known as Excalibur, King Arthur's legendary sword, have slowly become identified as the same weapon. That was not the original intent as it turns out, as I made the mistake of identifying it as the same weapon for a similar easter egg in The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, but thanks to the comments, I now know better. The Sword in the Stone and Excalibur are not the same, but it is a nod to the same thing, and while that's a semantics debate in this context, it's good to get it right, and if I'm wrong, then it's good to get corrected on that. But all of that aside, it's a cool easter egg. Secret number six takes us to the southwestern corner of the map, where along the road we may encounter a fox that when scanned is named Inari, and this fox is unkillable, believe me I shot it. If we follow this fox, it will lead us to a Ghost of Tsushima styled Inari shrine. There were 49 of these in total in Ghost of Tsushima, and I think it's fair to say that Horizon Forbidden West reasonably settled for just one. Secret number seven, there are four optional cauldrons in Horizon Forbidden West, Mu, Iota, Chi, and Kappa. These spell out the acronym MIG when ordered by difficulty from easiest to hardest. The acronym is actually incomplete and was initially intended to say Mika, with a fifth optional cauldron, the name of which would begin with the letter A that was removed from the game during development, and this is a nod to world designer Dennis Mika. That's a cool detail I found when researching this video, however as it turns out all four of these optional cauldrons have an interesting secret. In each of these cauldrons is a locked door, all of which appear to have a Triforce from the Legend of Zelda above them. These doors can be opened by pressing the sequence for Zelda's lullaby on the D-pad. Left, up, right, left, up, right. Hey, listen. I think the door's open. It's dangerous to go alone without supplies. Might as well grab these. So now if you see this symbol above a door when delving into a cauldron, you know exactly what to do. For secret number 8, if we head just inside Latopolis, located here on the map, we can find a rack full of weapons that resemble the LSR-44 Spore from Killzone. This weapon is the default weapon of Sergeant Lucas Kellen in Killzone Shadow Fall. Can't say I've ever played Killzone before, but I can tell you that it was developed by Guerrilla Games, which naturally explains why there's a nod to it in Horizon Forbidden West. Secret number 9 takes us to the Relic Ruins of Restless Weald. It's here where you may find yourself engaging in a relatively simple environmental puzzle, including a cart on a rail. On this cart, many will not notice, there is a small Ukrainian flag and a heart drawn next to it. And next to that heart is the Guerrilla Games logo. It's a really subtle sign of support, but it's there just the same. In the game, a message can be found carved into rock, presumably written by a developer at Guerrilla Games. It reads, I am Ukrainian, our nation deserves a better life. We alone protect our country and therefore I send this message to gamers all over the world. When the power of love defeats the love of power, the world will know unity. It's believed these sentiments were added to the game in an update, though I struggled to track down where the message carved into the rock could be found, however I found what it said online. Our final secret for today brings us to the Rebel Camp First Forge. In order to access Rebel Camp First Forge, you need to complete the other six Rebel Camps, and then come here during a quest with Erend that unlocks after you've done so. Once inside, you may encounter a derailed minecart surrounded by bananas, barrels, and a red baseball cap 
which references Donkey Kong Country. And that brings us nicely to the end of our 10 secrets video for Horizon Forbidden West. Thank you all for watching, I really hope that you've enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends, unless you don't want to do that, and that's perfectly fine too. If you like history content, be sure to check out my history channel Decades, which you can see via a link in the description. And of course, with any luck, I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point, but until next time, please take care and goodbye.